Well, let's have some fun using Affinity Photo to create TikTok branding and promotions. Or you could use it to create comics to display on TikTok. This particular video is using the TikTok format, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. We'll start with a blank. Start by creating the first frame. We're building a slideshow, in fact, that can only be 60 seconds long for TikTok. So anything else will be resized to this arrangement. And the aspect ratio for TikTok is 9 to 16, which is the reverse of the aspect ratio you're looking at at the moment, which is 16 to 9 widescreen. So 9 to 16, you make your base project 2268 pixels by 4032 pixels. That's the size of the pink um, portrait rectangle you've got. Now the first one is slide one, and you can see that's just a screen grab of my YouTube channel front page. And in my case, I'm promoting my YouTube channel. Now don't forget the subscribe now here. This one is simple. Pause the video now and click on subscribe. Spread the love. So this is slide one, or group one you'll see in a moment. Build up slide two. What's my channel about? Affinity Photo. Now this is slide two. You may notice that this is perfect for 60 second comics or cartoons. If you're using another platform with longer videos, the world is your oyster. But right now we're talking about TikTok, which is limited to 60 second videos. Now, slide three, Affinity Designer. I also teach designer basics on my YouTube videos, and you'll find them there right from the workbook through to various ideas that I develop in very short, very easy to follow videos. Now, building up slide four. Keep thinking of this as a slideshow. This is slide four. Affinity Publisher. Books, books, books. You'll find on my YouTube channel there are various playlists for the for the different apps, desktop and iPad. Now I'm developing this one on the iPad. Most of my work is on the iPad. I'm a YouTube creator. And the address, of course, on YouTube, go look for Robert Chalmers. Finally, for this exercise, slide five. But of course, you can use as many slides as you like to make up 60 seconds. And when you put them together in TikTok or any other um, uh, application for making videos suitable in this format, you can extend the time or reduce the time to fill the 60 seconds. Give folks time to read them though. You see there's a lot of detail on there. You don't want it flicking across the screen too quickly. Say five seconds for each and then you can get 12 slides into that time frame. 12 fives are 60. I think you'll find that TikTok actually does about 59 seconds. They crib off that one second for some reason. But never mind, you'll get there. Actually slightly less for a number of, <coughs> excuse me, a number of reasons of which I don't know. Now this is all from one Affinity Photo project. Done with layers and exported individually to photos. You can also export each slide to a PNG if you need to import them into your favorite video editor or TikTok itself. Now you can see on the right hand side there that the video I developed, which is on TikTok, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers, and I called them group one through to group eight. Each one made up, as you see in group two there, of a foundation, a half-tone screen, um, the funny cartoon man, which is not showing there, of course, because that's slide eight. That's the one with the sublimation cups on it. But each layer, of course, builds up to make a slide. And you should be familiar with that. But the secret is the format. So let's make our TikTok video, shall we? Let's look at how we can do this with nice transitions between frames. Now, I used a nice little program that's actually free, runs on the desktop and on the iPad and on the iPhone, for that matter, called CapCut, and stitched all these together into a nice little video.
and that was the video. You can find me on TikTok by scanning the TikTok code right there. Open up TikTok on your iPhone and uh, go to Discover and use the scanner to find me on that scan code and you'll go right to my channel. But of course, don't forget before you do that, pause the video right here and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I love to think I'm helping others find new ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. Spread the love.